The man behind Batshaw Youth and Family Services was laid to rest today. Manny Batshaw died earlier this week at the age of 101. As Felicia Perillo tells us, mourners gathered in Montreal to celebrate his life. When it comes to Manny Batshaw, everyone has a story. He was quiet and yet somehow or other he managed to figure out how to get done what he thought should be done. He didn't have the financial wherewithal to do it, so he found people who did and worked with them to accomplish a heck of a lot, and he did that. As a young kid, I ran uh, for the National Assembly in 1989, uh, very green behind the ears, and he, he called me, he came to sit down with me, and he talked to me about the language situation in Quebec, and he helped me, uh, he helped uh, giving me some very valuable advice. Every time I would go to visit him, he would ask, how are things? And you knew by how are things, he wanted to know exactly what was happening at Batshaw, exactly what was happening with the workers, exactly what was happening with the kids. But he also wanted to know what was happening in your life. But on Wednesday, hundreds of mourners gathered to celebrate his life and lay him to rest. Batshaw died on Monday at the age of 101. Throughout his life, the well-known social worker was a visionary and a lightning rod for social change. The Batshaw Committee report in 1975 led to a major restructuring of services offered to children and youth in Quebec. Those changes eventually led to the creation of Batshaw Youth and Family Services and the passing of the province's Youth Protection Act. At his funeral, members of the community praised him as a trailblazer. He took what was a childhood where he had low self-esteem, he had learning difficulties, and he turned it into career helping many, many people, mostly kids, um, but not just limited to children. He was a very, very special man. The community was extremely fortunate to have him. Batshaw is survived by his son Mark, who delivered the eulogy during Wednesday's service. The speech, however, was written by Batshaw himself before he died. In it, he wrote for those left behind not to be sad. It was a good ride, he said, a ride that will be remembered for generations to come. Felicia Perillo, Global News, Montreal.